More than 25 years ago, the way that I was initially taught to fight basement fires was to move in from the outside, get to the interior stairwell, and hold it from the top while hopefully some companies got around to the rear. But if that didn't happen, to force our way down the stairs to get to the fire and extinguish it. You know, in retrospect, and after the benefit of experience, it just doesn't make any sense. That position puts us right in the flow path. A better strategy is, of course, to get water into the basement from somewhere else, from an exterior opening on the level which the fire occurs. Now, that's not to say that sometimes you may need to be inside near that interior stairwell and certainly controlling the door and thus controlling the airflow. But this idea of fighting our way down the stairs into a basement has been borne out over and over, tragedy after tragedy, is generally not being the best option. Now I will say that basements vary in size, configuration, even what they're called. So there really are no hard and fast rules for fighting a basement fire. What is a hard and fast rule is not putting yourself in the flow path and anticipating where the flow path and when the flow path might change. Every door, every window, every ventilation hole, every blower changes the flow path in a fire. We know that from the research. We also know from the research and from our own experiences that the best way to make all of our problems go away is to get water on the fire as quickly as possible. In a basement fire, the optimal way to do that is to get water in even if you can't get inside the basement. Through an exterior window, through a door, at least get some water in there to cool off the environment and it will really change the interior conditions for both the occupants and your fellow firefighters. It's important to coordinate the search, fire attack, and ventilation activities. But we know that one of the most untenable places to be in any building that's on fire is in the flow path. And this is particularly challenging during a basement fire when anybody on the upper floors is essentially in the flow path or the potential flow path for that basement fire. Which again, makes it all the more important to do the basic, most common sense thing Try to get from the outside, get to that fire in the basement somehow, get some water in it, cool it off, and then later on, once it's cool, it will be much easier to push down those interior steps, much safer, and give you a much better chance to rescue occupants, which of course is what we do.